Welcome to Travel Bubble and to the Cairngorms National Park up here in Scotland. Join us as we explore this area from Braemar to the Cairngorm Reindeer Centre and lots of walks in beautiful Scottish scenery. We've just had a spectacular drive up from Edinburgh through the Cairngorms and we had lunch overlooking a spectacular view of the mountains that we had just done some of the driving through and now we are at our first walk. This is the Lynn of Dee walk just outside of Braemar which is where we're going to be staying later. We're checking into our little Airbnb cabin but for now we're making the most of the day and the beautiful nature by getting outside and enjoying some beautiful Scottish scenery up in the the Cairngorms. Our first walk in the Cairngorms did not disappoint, starting with a peaceful river walk in the crisp autumnal afternoon. The path has led us away from the river, up and back into the forest, where it's autumn time, beautiful colours up in the trees, reds, oranges, greens, and kind of golden colours. It's absolutely stunning. The path has led us round to another river behind us. Uh, it's so beautiful, the water is so clear and it's just cascading down, going in all sorts of directions, twisting and turning, much like the path we are on. Uh, it will eventually loop back round to the National Trust car park where we were. Um, we found a lot of people hadn't put parking tickets in there, but we're happy to pay the small fee as it does go to protecting places such as this. Uh, I think in this area, they've been putting a lot of effort into restoration and making it um, as beautiful as it can be. And now we're back walking through the forest to the car park. Uh, it's been such a beautiful walk. Very short and easily doable. Uh, about an hour, hour and a half if you're stopping all the time to take in the views like we were. Um, it's fairly easy to do. I'd recommend maybe some boots to wrap up warm as uh, at the moment is a little bit chilly. But we're going back now to head into Braemar and check into our little cabin. We stayed in the centre of Braemar village in a cabin tucked away from the main street. With underfloor heating, this tiny home was perfect for a short stay. Just mind your head on the sloped ceiling. It is our first proper day here up in the Cairngorms and in Braemar. We had a lovely night sleeping in our tiny cabin and just a short walk from Braemar main centre, about 10-15 minutes, is the grounds of the Braemar Castle, which we're going to have a look around now. The castle grounds are open and free to explore. It's a small area, so it won't take long. Fortunately, the castle itself remains closed, but there are other little places to find in the grounds. It is also a great starting point for many walks around the area. Just across the road from Braemar Castle, you'll find two different options of walks. Um, this one is, uh, I think, heading back towards Braemar on a more of a scenic path. I'm um, going up for a nice view and a lookout. So a bit of an adventure on this nice, very sunny, but a little bit chilly October day. The path led up to a hillside lookout of the surrounding area. We were lucky to have good weather to take in the sweeping views of the hills, mountains, forest and Braemar village. A 
as we've been wandering through the forest here, we've spotted a few of the red squirrels that are known to this area. They're very difficult to spot, especially as they blend in very well in the autumn colors. They sit all the way at the top of these trees. So beautiful and so peaceful here. Uh, we're really enjoying wandering through here and definitely glad that we took this path. We just popped back to our cabin for some quick lunch and now we're going on another walk. This one is heading slightly out of the village. You can start the walk from the village itself. Uh, it's really simple. Lots of things are signposted here, so it's really accessible. And we're going on the walk. This one is called Queen's Drive and River Clooney. So the Queen's route has taken us away from the river, across the road and back up across the hillside, heading us back towards, um, I think similar to where we were earlier, going back towards the forest. So maybe seeking out some more red squirrels. Uh, it's still beautiful. Uh, we thought there may have been some rain coming in, but it stayed to be a lovely crisp day, um, which is great. Uh, obviously, I mean, I imagine up here it can get quite rainy, but today is beautiful and we are loving our walk around Braemar. We've reached a part of the Queen's Drive walk that leads us up and back into the forest. We've just been walking alongside all the tall trees and now we're back into it and behind us here are the stone walls, uh, the Queen's Drive named thus as uh, Queen Victoria had a famous servant and relatives of that servant used to live up here and Queen Victoria used to come up here uh, to bring tea and tobacco to the Thompsons who used to reside in uh, this area where the walls now stand and that is all that remains. Nearly finished with the walk, almost back down to where we finished our first walk this morning and heading back into uh, the village of Braemar. Uh, but we've just spent about, well, I don't know, ages at this amazing little hut. Um, I was tracking a red squirrel across the forest, trying to get some good pictures and trying to see where it was going. And it led us to this little hide on the side of the path where uh, loads of little red squirrels were dipping in and out of its uh, little hut trying to get some food. Uh, it was amazing to stand and watch and see them all scurrying around trying to get some food. That was really, really amazing and a really amazing end to our walk here. Red squirrels are native to the UK and are considered an endangered species due to habitat loss and the introduction of the American Grey in the 1800s. Looking after these little creatures is important in maintaining a healthy ecosystem. They do not hibernate, so instead store food all year round for when it's not as available in the winter months. It's another day out here in the Cairngorms and this time we've taken about a 15 minute drive outside of Braemar to Balmoral Castle, the home of the Queen when she resides in Scotland. Uh, however, we're not really going to be looking around the castle that much. We are taking in the beautiful sights and heading to try and find a pyramid uh, that we've seen online. There's a walk around here. Uh, who would have thought that you'd find pyramids here up in the Cairngorms, but we're gonna try and seek them out on another beautiful sunny day.
So we've walked past the sign that goes up to the Royal Distillery and through a little village. And now we're up on the path heading towards the first one of the pyramids or known as Cairns. Uh, I think there are shorter routes that you can take. We passed that one, but this is the long one that seems to cover all of them. So we're gonna try and check them all out. We've reached another cairn with another viewpoint and we believe these stone structures behind me are for celebration, uh, to commemorate an event. Uh, you see on some of them you can mark out that some of them were to celebrate marriages between princes and princesses um, and noble persons. Uh, there was one that was to celebrate the purchase of this estate by Queen Victoria and they're really interesting and we're going to be trying to find the big one in just a sec. Another cairn here on the walk, this one with an amazing view over the Balmoral estate. And if you look behind, you can actually see the castle in the background. This is where the queen would reside when she was in Scotland. Uh, not here at the moment, but I believe was here recently during lockdown. To be honest, if I was her, probably be here as well, because as you can see, it's such a beautiful view. All these walks that we've been going on and will be continuing to go on throughout our time here in the Cairngorms and indeed Scotland, we have found from a really useful website, I'll put the link in the description, it is the Walk Highlands website. It shows uh, plenty of walks for the areas that you may be interested in for various grades of difficulty and it has pictures as well as plenty of information for the correct way to go as uh, it is very easy to maybe venture off onto the wrong path. However, that is also part of the adventure. Uh, really glad we came across the website and I definitely recommend it. Like I said, link in the description below. We're on our way back down from the trail now. Just seen our last cairn behind us. And we've just been to the Prince Albert cairn, the big pyramid shaped one. Not too sure why that one is in the shape of a pyramid and the other one is more of a kind of stone structure, but it's definitely the most impressive one with the best view, obviously by default attracting the most people as you can just kind of go up to that one and come back. So a little bit of waiting around for photo opportunities and all that sort of thing you know the typical people there on their instagram thing and all that sort of stuff having lunch uh, i really liked the lunch stop we stopped off just somewhere on the path um, the walk has been not too taxing a little bit steep and muddy at times but very enjoyable uh, if you were doing the full trail probably around two and a half three hours or a little bit longer if you keep stopping uh, like we do to take in all the scenery but now back to the car park and back to our cabin. Back in Braemar, we took a short walk around the village, spotting some unique and interesting sights before packing up and heading to our next destination in the west of Scotland via a slight detour. Our Cairngorm adventure was not over just yet.
our final day here up in the Cairngorms. We have moved on from Braemar and we're taking a road trip through to our next stop. But we have stopped off just outside of Aviemore at the Cairngorm Reindeer Centre. Uh, the drive here was typically Scottish and wet. Uh, it's been raining pretty heavily, making the drive a little bit sketchy at times, but we've made it nonetheless. And we're here to see the UK's only reindeer herd. Um, smaller group numbers. Uh, we've got stickers to just show that we've paid. Um, uh, keep the group numbers down which is great however outside not looking the best at the moment but we'll embrace it and we'll just get wet enjoy our time at the reindeer center we're just walking along this path now about 10 15 minutes and then we'll get up to be able to see the reindeer herd across the uh, the mountain, it's just a small part of the herd as uh, some of it live outside of the uh, area that has been designated for people to come and view them. Um, it's been this way apparently uh, since it began, the 11 o'clock tour. Uh, it was that was how it set up and that is how it's continued so a family manage the reindeer herd here and look after everything um, some of them live outside of it and will kind of come back every now and then and they've all got names as well so we're gonna learn a bit about the reindeers and enjoy our time up on the mountains the tour started with some important safety information and reindeer etiquette they were calm animals following us on the boardwalk out into the large mountainside grazing area probably as they knew it was time for some snacks. There were a range of reindeer ages and lots of interesting facts to learn. Did you know these reindeer have tendons in their feet, making a clicking noise when they walk? This is said to help the herd stay in contact, especially when in bad weather conditions. We've just finished our time here at the Cairngorm Reindeer Centre. There are about 150 reindeers in the herd, uh, semi-domesticated. We saw maybe about 40 as it is the mating season, the rut. Uh, the ones we saw here are not partaking in that. Um, some of them just kind of live wild or across the mountain ranges here and they'll come back um, for food sometimes but they can definitely survive without it uh, it's really interesting to see how the conservation has taken place as reindeers were extinct here they were reintroduced in 1952 by a swedish person that brought the reindeers back to scotland uh, so a really nice thing to be doing here and great to be supporting uh, some good ecotourism and i definitely recommend it if you are coming to the cairngorms we stayed admiring the herd for as long as possible but before leaving, Gemma had to check if they bowed like the deer we had seen in Nara, Japan earlier this year. They did not. We've just had some lunch and if you do want to go on any additional walks, there are lots around this area. The car park that is just next to the reindeer centre was only £2 park all day and that does include a ticket for all of the car parks seemingly around this area. So uh, really good value and we're going on a walk now. The Blue Route which is just up from the visitor centre of the Cairngorm reindeer centre. This leads through some pines to a lock and uh, the rain was there a little bit earlier but it's kind of clearing up a little bit now so fingers crossed that it does stay that way and we can enjoy a nice afternoon. And after the first section of the Blue Trail, it leads to here. This is Lokan Yuain, or Yuain, not too sure how you pronounce it. As per usual, we'll pop the name at the bottom. It has got a beautiful green tint to it. You can see some of that color coming in just behind me there. Um, that is pretty spectacular. And, and it's pretty easy just to wander around the shores of the lake before we carry on back to the start of the trail.
that's been our time up here in the Cairngorm in Scotland. It's been really enjoyable to have our own vehicle and to be able to stay in some really amazing, unique places. Um, lots of options for camping and we've seen lots of camper vans as well. We did look at those options, however, this time we did decide to do things on our own accommodation, booking on Airbnb to be able to be self-contained and be able to cook home and supply our own food. Uh, we brought a lot of it with us or from a major city as some of the uh, food places around here are a little bit limited. Um, we really enjoyed our time here. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe and we will see you in the next episode.